Hi, I'm going to show you how to do this waffle stitch here. I'm using an H hook. And pink yarn. To do this waffle stitch, you're going to work it in a multiple of three. So I'm going to show you a sample of how to do this stitch. Slip knot onto your hook. And for um, the tutorial, I'm going to chain 26. You can make washcloths out of this stitch, blankets, hats. I'm just going to show you the stitch. So we have chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. And you're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. Double crochet in that third chain. And now you're going to double crochet in each chain across. Okay, so now you have double crochets and each chain across and now you're going to chain one and turn. So when you do this, this will be 
row two. Okay, so now we're in row two, chain one and turn, and you're going to double crochet in this first stitch that you chained one. Just double crochet, and then you're going to front post double crochet, so yarn over. If you've never front post double crochet, there are videos on it, but this is how you do it. You yarn over. Place your hook behind this double crochet post, yarn over, pull that yarn through behind that post, and then just work a double crochet. And it will look like this. And then you're going to double crochet in the next two double crochets. So this is your next one double crochet, then double crochet in the next, and then you're going to front post double crochet again. And when you do this, this is your pattern across. So now double crochet in the next two and just repeat this pattern across. And then double crochet front post here. And then double crochet in the next two. So one. and then two, and just keep repeating this pattern. Front post in the next, double crochet in the next two, in this next one double crochet in the next two front post double crochet in the next two Double crochet in these next two. Front post. And then in this last stitch, work a double crochet. That was row two. Now you're on row three. Now on row three, you're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so chain one and turn, double crochet in that same stitch as your chain one, and then you're going to double crochet in the next, then front post in the next two. 
So here you're going to front post, front post in the next, and then you're going to double crochet in the next, and then on this side you can't tell, but when you flip it over, you're going to start to see the waffle stitch come coming out where it looks three-dimensional, kind of like this one here. Then you're going to turn it here. So anyways, we're on front post, front post, double crochet. So your next two will be two front post. So front post, double crochet. and then another front post. And this is row three, and then one double crochet here. And then repeat that across, two front posts here. And if um, you need to pause to catch up, that's fine and then another front post and then a double crochet in the next two front posts Then a double crochet, and then a front post, another front post, and then a double crochet. And then two front posts. And then a front post. Then a double crochet. Two front posts. Another front post. Double crochet, and then one more double crochet in that last stitch. So two double crochet after these two front posts. Chain one, turn. Now starting to show the waffle stitch here. Now you are on row four. So on row four, you're going to chain one and turn again. And what you're going to do is you're going to be repeating row two. So I'll show you how to repeat row two again. Okay, so row two is chain one and turn double crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to front post double crochet in the next and then two double crochet in the next you're repeating row two I'm going to go a little bit faster since we've done this row before front post double crochet here so you will be alternating and then two double crochet here Re um, repeating row two and row three just re alternating those two rows to complete this stitch 
and you'll continue this for your desired length. Front post double crochet. And then two double crochet in the next. And then front post double crochet. As you can tell, the waffle stitch is coming together as it's looking three dimensional. And then two double crochet in the next. And then a front post in the next. And just repeat that across two double crochet in the next. You're just repeating row two. And then front post again. And then two double crochet in the next. And then front post in the next. Two double crochet in the next. And then a front post in that next one. And then a double crochet in that last one. That was repeating row two. Now we're on row five, chain one and turn, and you're repeating row three. So if you remember, row three is double crochet. And then double crochet in the next and then two front post double crochet this is repeating row three front post double crochet double crochet front post double crochet in the next two double crochet front post in the next two front post in the next double crochet in the next two front posts in the next Front post in the next. Double crochet in the next. And then front post, two in the next. One, two, double crochet in the next. Two front posts in the next. One, two, double crochet in the next. Two front posts in the next. One, two, double crochet. And then another double crochet. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to repeat row three. And once you repeat row three, You'll repeat row two and then once you repeat row two then go back to three and just alternate between those two rows that I just showed you and this is what the waffle stitch looks like okay thank you for watching